Today we're tackling a common issue for many TV owners, and that's running out of HDMI ports on your TV. But fear not, because I'm gonna show you how to add more HDMI ports to your Roku TV in just a few simple steps. Okay, now here is the solution. This is an HDMI switch. Now these little nifty devices, they allow you to connect multiple HDMI devices to a single port on your TV. Uh, now the reason that I went with this one, uh, because there are quite a few options out there to choose from, but I went with this one because it's pretty heavy duty. It's made of metal, uh, so it, it, you know it's, it's heavy. It's not plastic, it won't move around too much, but also it does support 8K. Now I don't have anything that really um, uses 8K at at this point in time but um it's future proofing myself so that way whenever the tvs do jump up to 8k or any of these uh, devices that you use support 8k i will have a device that uh, works well with this so that's why i went with this device now i'll put a couple different options in the link down below of where you can get um, an hdmi switch um, from all my research of uh, research on which ones are best so i'll put two different options on there but uh, this is the one that i went with Okay, now let me show you how it works. First thing to do is to connect all your devices in the back. So on the back side of here, you'll see there is uh, input for one, input two, input three, input four. And then this is the output. So you'll start hooking up like your DVD players or any of your consoles or any other kind of devices that you need to hook up to your TV through an HDMI port. You'll hook them up here. Then here you'll get an HDMI cable that you'll Hook from here that goes into the HDMI port on your TV. So that's the output. And then this right here is the AC adapter. This is what gives power to this particular switch here. So that you'll just plug in right there like so. And then once you power it on, I'll go ahead and get this plugged in and show you guys how it works with the remote. Okay, now that we have it all plugged in, as you can see, there's an indicator light there that shows that it's getting power and then there's an indicator light on input one. Uh, now, so let's say that you wanna go over to input two, you'll just jump here on this remote and you'll see that they have the different options. You'll just press number two. And then now the indicator light is on number two. Um, auto, if you turn on auto, it will just kind of recognize what input has a live feed going into it. So I kind of recommend just using the one, two, three, or four and switching between the devices that you want. The arrows here on this remote will just go from input one and you push the up arrow to go to input two, three, four, and so on, or you can click backwards. Um, then you get, it's got an on and off switch also in case you wanna turn it on and off, of course. But um, yeah, easy peasy to understand, easy peasy to use, but this is how you would do it. So there you have it, an HDMI switch that you can easily expand the number of HDMI ports on your TV. That way you can enjoy all your favorite devices without the hassle of constantly unplugging or replugging in cables. If this video was helpful, go ahead and click a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Take care.